What commonly overlooked humor device can you use to completely change your audience's reaction to your best lines? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. One of the most powerful tools you have in creating humor is nonverbal. It's your face. The way you use your face can completely change the attitude or the mood of a scene. For instance, consider this story I haven't told in a while, but I used to talk about getting engaged in a cornfield. True story. The shortened version of this tale is I had this great day planned out for my girlfriend Linda to ask her to marry me. And one by one, each of my plans fell apart. It got so bad that by the end of the afternoon, I was so frustrated and angry. I mean, she didn't know why that we went for a ride out in the country. She loves the country. At one point, Linda stopped the car, put it in park, opened her car door, jumped out, and ran into a field of corn. And that's when I decided to ask her. Now, this was a hot August afternoon. I walked over, sweat pouring down my face and down my back. I reached into my pocket and said, honey... This isn't how I plan to do this, but I've been wanting to ask you something all day. Will you marry me? Now, I've tested this with different facial reactions just to see how the audience would react. And it's amazing how much difference there's been. The way this really happened was I held the ring out, asked her to marry me, and for the longest time, she just stood there. Now, what do you think was going through my head? All these thoughts, like, oh my God, she's going to say no. Is, is she mad because I asked her here in the cornfield? All these thoughts racing through my head. I finally broke the silence after what seemed like an eternity and said, any thoughts? And she said, oh, of course I'll marry you. Oh, huge relief, right? Not ecstasy, not joy, just, oh, that's a relief. Okay. In order to test different audience responses, I've changed that up and you see most of the scene through my face. So here's one example. I hold the ring out and say, will you marry me? What feeling or thoughts does that generate in you, the viewer? Well, people have told me they're thinking, oh, you poor guy. It looks like you're worried, you're scared that she's going to say no or she's mad at you. You don't know. That's one reaction. Now, here it is. Same scene, different facial expression. Honey, will you marry me? What does that reaction on my face tell you? Well, people have told me I look annoyed, irritated, impatient. Same scene, same gesture, different face creates a different emotion. What really makes it, though, is the pause. The longer I would hold the pause and just stare at her and go from a smile to a... or a... Either way, the pause is what made the laugh. People, I think, felt bad for me at first, and then they started to laugh the more and more I was waiting. That created a lot of humor. But I got different reactions to what people thought my emotion was based on my face. Your tip for today is test different facial reactions. I would suggest not do it in a mirror. If you've seen other tips of mine, I don't like mirrors for practice. Video like I'm doing right here. Go back and watch it and listen for audience response. That will tell you which of your facial expressions has the most power for a given story or scene. Talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.